How do Blu-ray and other optical discs work? Blu-ray is the descendant of Laserdisc, part of a group of storage media collectively known as optical discs. CDs, DVDs and later Blu-ray discs are some of the best known examples of these media. These discs use the same form factor and the devices that read them use lasers. Optical discs have a layer where pits and flat area contain the disc's data in simple binary. A pit represents 0, whereas a flat area represents 1. A laser is pointed at the disc as it spins. When the laser light hits a flat area, it reflects towards a photoelectric cell, which then detects the light. When the laser light strikes a pit, it doesn't get reflected towards the photoelectric cell. This way, the photoelectric cell can interpret the laser's light as binary data. Reflected light equals 1, no light equals 0. This binary is then processed by a computer as data, a movie or music for instance. How much an optical disc can store depends on how small the pits can be made on the physical disc and the type of laser being used to read the disc. For instance, Blu-ray uses blue lasers which have a smaller wavelength than the red DVD lasers or the infrared lasers used with CDs. Because this smaller wavelength makes the Blu-ray be more precise, more data can be stored on the same surface area, approximately five times more than on its predecessor, the DVD. Added to that, Blu-ray is a so-called third-generation optical disc. At the time of writing, fourth-generation optical discs are still in development with Ultra HD Blu-ray poised to supersede regular Blu-ray in the near future. If you want to know, for instance, how VHS works, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when the new video drops. Because thanks to you and my patrons on Patreon, this channel is possible. If you can, share this video with someone who you think will like it. Click to see another video or subscribe. Thanks for watching.